Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how you can use your N8N AI agents for completely free. There's a ton of different open source models that we can install and use, and I'm gonna show you guys how simple it is to set up. All you gotta do is follow along with this video. So let's get started. So as a prerequisite, I'm assuming that you've already set up your locally hosted N8N using the self-hosted AI starter kit. If you haven't done that, watch this video that I'll tag right up here real quick, and then hop back over to this video. So once you've got that all set up, you can see what we have right now is a completely locally hosted version of NADN running. We have our Olama, which is a local model, but in here, all we can see is that we have Llama 3.2 latest. So what we need to do is basically go to Olama and choose from all the different open source models that are available and just install them on our machine really quick. And all of this is gonna be free. So let me show you guys how we do that. So you're gonna to go to olama.com. I'll put the link in the description and you don't have to even come here and download anything. Just go here, click on models, and now we have all of the different models that we can actually download and start using with our NADN AI agents. So we've got DeepSeek, which has been the most popular open source model, 48.1 million pulls. We have all these other ones to choose from. We have some more Llama models. And this is basically our repository of different AI models that we can test out for free. And just to show you guys an example, let's do DeepSeek R1, which is a thinking model. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna click on it. And now we have a few things to look at. So first of all, we have the different parameters that the open source version of DeepSeek are offered in. So we've got 1.5 billion, 7 billion, 8 billion, all this kind of stuff. And down here, you can see all the different models with their sizes and their context windows. And I'm not really an expert at like hardware and everything, but what I would do is I would go to perplexity or chat and say, hey, these are the specs of my computer. Here's my RAM, my VRAM, my processing power, all this kind of stuff. And I would say like, which model should I be able to use? And just for reference, these are pretty tiny. Like if we go over here to my perplexity search, if we look at some of the most popular closed source models like GPT and Claude, GPT-4 is 1.8 trillion almost, which is just massive. You know, like GPT-4.0 is 200 billion. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is around 175 billion. So these closed source models are going to be much faster and more powerful than most of these open source ones. That gap is slowly closing and one day there will be open source models that are just as powerful as these. But right now that is the sort of limitation of open source models. And you're also going to be limited based on the actual local machine that you're gonna be installing and running these models on. But anyways, now that that's out of the way, let's just, for example, in this case, download DeepSeek R1, that's 1.5 billion parameters. So all I'm gonna do is go ahead and click this copy button right here. So I'm just copying the name DeepSeek-R1 colon 1.5B. I'm gonna open up our Docker and we can see our container with all of these different containers in them. And what I'm gonna do is basically just open up the Olama container that has the Olama image in it. And all I need to do is click on exec and I'm just gonna type Olama pull. I'm just gonna paste in what we just copied, which was DeepSeek R1. I'm gonna hit enter. Right now what it's doing is it's pulling in DeepSeek, it's installing it on our machine. And then once this is done, we'll be able to access that in NADN. Okay, so we just got our success message. I'm gonna go back into our local NADN and open up this Olama node. And now if I click this arrow, we see DeepSeek R1 right here. So I've switched over, now we're using DeepSeek and let's just test out that it works. I'm just gonna say, tell me a joke. And now we're no longer accessing our local Olama model. We're using our local DeepSeek R1. And you can tell because it's a thinking model and it said, think, think, why don't skeletons fight each other because they don't have the guts. And so it's really that simple. And now all we'd have to do is come back into Olama, click on models, and we could look at all the different AI models as well as the different parameters that, that are offered and just pull them into our Docker. So for example, let's say we wanted to pull in Quen and I wanna pull in Quen 1.7 billion parameters. I would just copy the name, go into our Olama on Docker in the exec tab. We're gonna say Olama pull, and I'm just gonna paste in that value. And now we're just gonna pull in Quen just like that, super simple. We got our success message. I'm gonna go back into NADN, click into Olama, and we open up and we can see now we have our Quen 3, 1.7 billion parameter model. And this is just so cool because once again, this is running locally on my PC down there. It's all gonna be completely free and we have so many different options to choose from. And like I said, I'm not an expert at model weights and parameters, but just keep in mind, I probably wouldn't rely too much on a 1.7 billion parameter or 1.5 billion parameter for anything besides very basic conversational use. If you wanna have agents with tool calling and all this kind of stuff using local models, you're probably gonna want at least like 14 billion or 32 billion. But once again, they're completely free, so you can just test out as much as you want. Anyways, let me just show you guys a few helpful commands that you can use inside this exec of the Olama container. So let's say you just kind of want to see which models you have available. You can go ahead and type Olama list. And this is going to show us, okay, you've got Quen, DeepSeek, and Llama 3.2. Now let's say we wanted to get rid of one. Let's just get rid of the Quen that we just installed. I would just type in Olama RM, which stands for remove. And I would just be able to paste in the name of the model we want to remove. Hit enter. And now it says it's deleted Quen. 
if I go back into our local models, we open this guy up, we no longer have Quen. As you can see, we just have DeepSeek or Llama to choose from. And it's that simple. It updates in real time. You don't even have to like, you know, Docker compose down and spin it back up. We're basically good to go, that quick and easy. And like I said, you've got all these models to choose from. So that's gonna do it for this one. I know it was a quick one, but just wanted to show you guys how simple and easy it is to get these different local models running. And it, it may seem a little intimidating at the beginning, but after this video, you can see it's not too bad at all. So if you learned something new or you appreciated this video, give it a like. It definitely helps me out a ton. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thanks everyone.